Hello everybody, Andy here again. Well, this originally was going to be a blog post, but as with even some of my blog posts that I do, and I'll put a link over there to the blogs that I do with my uh, blogger page, um, that they'd start going off on some rambles. You'd think, I'll do something nice and short, just a quick, sort of succinct um, blog, and then it's, you know, the mind starts going as it does with my, uh, my blogs as well. When I thought about this particular topic, I as I said, it was going to be a blog, it's turned into a blog, it may well be a blog, it may well turn into a two-part video, who knows, because that whole thing about the noughties, everybody at the moment is talking about the noughties, you know, this whole decade, it's, it's New Year's Eve here today, and it's the end of a year, it's also the end of the decade, and a very big influential decade, the noughties, and the more you read about it, the more that that's changed, especially with this technology. Ten years ago, we didn't have YouTube, we didn't have the vast majority of all the sort of social networking sites, and a lot of the internet type sites that are very big now. Even Google was pretty small at that particular time. And on this particular day, ten years ago, I remember everybody was worried about that millennium bug. Do you remember that the Y2K thing? And I think back, and I find it quite hard to remember what things were like. It's when you ever look back on things. It's only when someone reminds you that you think, "God, really? Was it? You know, was it that long ago?" I, I see films of the 1970s when I was alive as a teenager, and that and that time, and you see things, you think, "Geez, <laughs> was it really like that back there?" Not not just the hairstyles and that, but just the way of life and the way that things looked it was different um, so when you look back at what's happened through the last 10 years especially with the internet I, and the way that this whole internet type of thing has taken over our lives in lots of ways not just if you're sitting here watching this video but the way it's taken over your lives generally in lots of different lots of different ways and how that has influenced just about everything that we do now and I wanted to point out a couple of particular things that have changed because of the internet, because of me, and the way that things have altered for me. Now, one of them is uh, this, if I can get it out here, it's just a, a symbol. Now, this is this is my iPhone. Now, just think how mobile technology has come along in the last 10 years, but also what this does for me. I was never a big fan of mobile phones, cell phones, whatever you want to call them. Um, I don't use it a lot now for talking. I used it for texting occasionally, but not that much. I have an allowance on here for minutes and text, and I don't get anywhere near that usually. But what I do use it for is for the internet, the mobile internet, and the way that that's changed, especially over the last a few few years, especially that's the last couple of years probably, that it's really changed. Mobile technology has really come on strong, and I think that's the one big thing, the big thing that's going to be for the next decade, whatever they're going to call it. The, <laughs> the aftermath of the noughties. What is, what is the name for the next decade? We had the noughties, I wonder what's coming next. That is going to be the big thing. And an illustration of that in some ways and how things have changed for me is that I've just booked a couple of holidays. No, nothing particularly exciting about that, although they are exciting. And one of those would never have happened. One of those particular holidays would never have happened or would, would never happen. That was never hasn't happened yet. But it's because of this, because of the internet and because of another thing that I will talk about in a minute. And um, so there's a change for a start. But I book all these holidays online. Most of the holidays that I book now are done online. Yes, I mean, most of us do that, but the holiday I've just booked into Spain, into a fairly remote area, I suppose. And although it wasn't really a necessity for me, one of the reasons that I picked the place that I did and was very pleased to get the place that I did, it's got internet access. It's got free Wi-Fi and internet access. I can use this when I'm out there. I can, and, and they'll even provide you with a phone. Um, if you want it, or a laptop, so that you can keep connected with whatever you want to do. And that's what we're sort of talking about this at home and the way that that's changed. A few years ago, no one would have given that thought. We were in Spain two years ago, same area, same town, you know. And we didn't think about it. Yes, I was away for two weeks. It was quite a nice break in some ways, and I quite enjoyed it, and it didn't matter. But because we become increasingly more and more connected, to either the phones, to the internet generally, or to our friends, whatever it might be, to all those social networks that really exploded, the Facebooks, the Twitters, etc., that have really exploded over the past two years and have changed our way of life, whether that's for the better, I personally think it is, but I can see the alternative view as well. But now people are selling properties to go and stay in abroad because they've got free Wi-Fi access. The other holiday that I've booked um, is 
Also, there was a consideration there, the particular hotel that me and a friend are going to stay in for the first few days over there has got free internet access. Everybody does it now. It's a selling point. You know, your coffee shops, your, your restaurants, your pubs, your bars, etc. Everything now is tied up with that. It's something that's changed. It's, it's, maybe it's not a necessity, but it's a big thing. It's a change. And that is something else that's really going to change, I think. I'm not trying to do a prediction video here, but just some ideas of the way that it's changed my life and the way that I'm going to be on holiday next year in August. And I can use the internet, and I will, you know, the, the, that temptation is there. If it hadn't have been there, it wouldn't have bothered me, as two years ago. Although, because I've become increasingly connected because of things like this, maybe <laughs> maybe I would have been a bit more itchy, <laughs> a, bit more, a bit more twitchy, that I wasn't able to connect with all those people and all those sites, etc., that because of the way that it's invaded our lives, sometimes without us really realising how much we need it. And I may well tackle that on another video or a blog post. The other thing I wanted to talk about, and another aspect of how my life has changed, I've mentioned this before, but over the past three or so years, and that sort of second half of the decade with all the social networking stuff that's come out, and once again, that influences us a lot. Um, not just because the amount of people that are on things like Facebook are on YouTube, um, are on all the other, they're make, doing their own blogs, etc. They're on Twitter and all these other things. The Flickr, which is also like a social networking site, the explosion of that and the way it gets into our lives and the way that we, we connect with people. And the more you connect, the more you connect, the more you want to, etc. And a very good physical representation of all of this type of thing and the collaboration and the social networking side is this. This is my bloggerhood calendar, which arrived yesterday. If I try and put it up here so you can see it. There you are, there's the, there's the front cover. And you can see all of those different people, myself included there. And a great manifestation. Yes, I'm proud of this because I was part of the, the group that put it together. And I'll just show you some of the pictures. There we are. That's, that's the first one. There we go. And uh, obviously all the dates. A normal standard calendar, which was put together, designed by Gary Anakin 1814. There you go, that's my particular effort. That's uh, on Mr. February, I suppose. And it goes right through to, and it's good quality paper as well, and it goes right through to, starts obviously tomorrow. Here we go, I'll show you this one, because I do love this one. This is Phil, Fantastic Babblings, and his shot to the 59th Street Bridge, Feeling Groovy song, there you go, in New York City. And this is the last one. This is uh, Lisa Milano's shot from the Dolomites over there in Italy. It's a great manifestation, apart from the fact that it's for a great charity as well. If you can see down the bottom there, uh, there we are, through that mirror image, the Nature Conservancy. There you are, a great charity that it's all going towards. But getting all of these people together across the world. A few years ago, none of us knew each other. I've met several of the people there. I will be hopefully meeting a few more of them. And I know when I communicate with them in one way or another, either by YouTube or Twitter or whatever it might be, flicker or anything and now in this type of way as well we've got yet another connection hopefully we can connect some more people like this in the future and if you've got any of your ideas that you want to go ahead and do it it adds another different aspect to it i was talking to my wife Esty when this arrived and uh, and I, I showed it to her and she didn't really understand what it was about and i was saying well i've met this person and i've you know i've met i met beth there i met her in nashville and i've met her uh, sit the wrong way around i met gary Marianne, uh, Mike there, hopefully I'm going to be meeting this chap in not too distant future, <laughs> etc. So uh, it's it's a great idea and it's a great coming together and it, was, you know, she's, it sort of brings it home to other people, I think. It brings it home to you, but it brings it home to other people that this, this is real. You know, I know I go on about this a lot, but it, this is real and this is a physical manifestation of what we can do here and the way that this does bring us together and we now have a tangible result there, something that will last for 15 months, but it will, in I'm sure, last for a lot longer than that, right through from the sort of 2006 or whatever it was that we all got involved, and since then the other people that have come on board, but also right through the next decade, the way that the internet, as I said, is taken off, I can connect with all of these people via this as well, in wherever I am in the world, anywhere that's got an internet connection, a 3G connection or whatever it is where you are, I can connect with these people. I play Scrabble with them online and things like that. And it's mind-boggling to other people. So maybe we're early adopters, and I think we are in lots of ways. But these type of things 
are going to come into our lives a lot more in the future. And anything that brings us all together creates new friendships across the world. Because don't forget with this, we've got people, as I said, we've got people here, obviously a lot of them in America, Hawaii as well. But here in the UK, Felix over there in Portugal and places like that as well. So, you know, a great way of bringing things together. So that's, for me, is the, the defining things, I think, of the noughties of the past decade, the rise of the internet, the rise of social networking and all that that brings to it as well and how it comes into our lives and as i said i think that's a very big thing for the future and those are just two sort of ideas and how they lead on to other things as i said with the booking of holidays and things like that and how you're thinking about it now i can go on holiday i can keep on in contact i can blog about things i can do videos and that type of thing as well yes a lot of people think well, don't you want to get away from it all i'm still away from it all i'm just cataloging for myself for anybody else who is interested that this is you know this is what i'm doing at the moment um on christmas day i had an email from someone um who watched some videos that i made in spain two years ago in august i made eight different videos and it's like a little travel diary a bit like a you know just blogging and talking about what i was doing throughout that particular time what we were doing as a family i did it partly for my own benefit because it was a great I can look back at that, watch those eight videos, whether in a row or I can watch those eight videos. That's a snapshot in, snapshot in time of what we did, where we were, everything that happened. And that's, that's once again, you can transport yourselves back to it. Somebody watched those videos from one to number eight, all in a row on Christmas Day, <laughs> from the videos that were made two years ago, and then left a great comment saying, oh, I love these videos, really enjoyed them, watched them all back to back, and that's inspired me, I really want to go and see Spain, you know, and that sort of blew me away, and the fact that the guy watched all, I think it was a guy, watched all of these videos, one to number eight, back to back, on Christmas Day, then made a comment as well, and videos that are two years ago, so don't forget, whatever you put up there, you can still be watched, although this, um, this Canada might only last until March 2011, the spirits and everything that goes with it is going to last for a lot longer than that. Anyway, have a, I hope you've had a great decade. I've had a pretty good decade. And I hope that the next decade, 2010, and whatever that next decade is called, is as good for you as I hope it's going to be for me. I'm said, I may well do a video about things that might happen in the future. In the future. Next year. Next decade. Who knows? Anyway, thanks for your time. I'll speak to you again soon. Goodbye.